if you go to the Chain of Memories website today, you will find nothing. I assumed Square Enix would have bought ChainOfMemories.com and had it redirect to KingdomHearts.com. They didn't buy this domain in 2004, and to this day they never did. But you can for the low, low price of $4,000 plus. Dollars. Good luck with that. The real way to get to the Chain of Memories website in 2004 was by going to KingdomHearts.com, where you'd find this portal site with links to the Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories websites. I have a video where I look back at the original Kingdom Hearts website, so check that out if you want to learn about the past. Right now, let's have a look at the Chain of Memories website. Clicking the Chain of Memories link takes us to this loading screen with Goofy, and then to this little intro video. I'm going to just let this play, and I'll see you when it's over. Welcome to the Chain of Memories website from 2004. In my opinion, this website is a lot sleeker than the original Kingdom Hearts 1 website. I think the first website had a little too much information, but this one has just the right amount to introduce you to the game without being too overwhelming. Granted, that could be because Chain of Memories is a Game Boy Advance game and there's just less information to tell, but still. This website feels a lot less bloated and it's really easy to see where everything is, like right away. When you hover over the characters here on the home page, you get to read their character profiles and hear a cute little bubbly noise. I really, really love this little noise. It's so cute. Over here on the left side, there's a few different sections you can visit on the website. The first is Game Stories, where you see Kingdom Hearts, the story so far. Now, seeing that phrase kind of threw me for a loop because I know the story so far is just a generic phrase in the English language, but I can't help but think of Kingdom Hearts The Story So Far, the collection for PS4. I is this something they say in Kingdom Hearts a lot and I'm just forgetting or something? Because I feel like I'm missing something. It probably is just a coincidence, but please let me know in the comments if you can think of a reason why they would use this phrase in both these places. I'm, For some reason I'm like, wow, that's what? Anyway, this section is a recap of the events of Kingdom Hearts so far which I will now do a dramatic reading of. On the night, his island home is besieged by a mysterious storm. Sora is whisked away to an unfamiliar burg known as Traverse Town. There, he meets Donald and Goofy and learns of the world's strange goings on. Donald and Goofy set off to look for their missing king and Sora joins them to search for his lost friends, Riku and Kairi. After a long journey that takes them across numerous worlds, Sora and friends find Riku and the king at last, but to save all worlds, Sora must use his Keyblade to close the door to darkness, even though Riku and the King are on the other side. Believing the King's parting words that there will always be a door to the light, Sora locks the door, and he, Donald, and Goofy set out on a new journey. Sora, Donald, and Goofy travel down a long road that meanders through endless fields and come to a crossroads. As Sora stands in the crossroads, he gazes up at the night sky and thinks of his lost friends. Just then, a mysterious man approaches from down one of the branching paths. Ahead lies something you need, he says, but to claim it, you must lose something dear. When the man vanishes, only a single path remains. The path leads to a mysterious fortress called Castle Oblivion. In the coming journey, what will Sora and his companions gain, and what will they lose? Very good recap. Tells you everything you need to know to jump into the game. 
The next three sections are slideshows explaining different aspects of the game, but unfortunately, the Wayback Machine only captured the first slide of each, or the first image of each, so we are left to wonder what these images could have possibly been. We're like, there's just no way to know. Most of them you can kind of guess what they were. For example, the battle section is just explaining how to play the game, so you can kind of imagine what the images were, like what kind of examples they would have used in those images. But some of them are really frustrating because you have no idea what the image could have been, like this one. Jump and climb your way through varied terrain. This place sure looks familiar, what could it be? Like, I have no idea, I don't know, we will never know. Is Pinocchio a good boy? Take one look at his nose. I mean, I would, but I literally can't see it. We, we don't, we'll never know what his nose looks like. This one I'm not sure about because it says a new face. Remember him, you may see him again in Kingdom Hearts 2. I assume that this is Axel, but it could totally be Roxas. And that would be a spoiler since Roxas doesn't appear until after the credits in Chain of Memories, but I would not put it past Square Enix to put a spoiler right there in the middle of the Chain of Memories website. I have literally no faith in them when it comes to spoilers, even back then even in 2004. I will never get over the final battle trailer so long as I shall live. Never. <laughs> never. The last section of this website is the download section, which is a bunch of Chain of Memories wallpapers you can download for your computer. These wallpapers were actually backed up on the Wayback Machine, so I'll put the links in the description so you can download them from the past and feel like a time traveler, because that's what I feel like when I download these files. And that's the end of the Chain of Memories website from 2004. Like I said before, this website is sleek and it's very creative, but still straightforward and easy to navigate. I, I really like the way it looks. You can tell they put a way more effort into the visual presentation this time around compared to the Kingdom Hearts 1 website. Does this pattern of improvement continue with the Kingdom Hearts 2 website? We will find out next time. We, we will find out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed getting to see the Kingdom Hearts Teen Memories website from 2004. My next video will be the Kingdom Hearts 2 website. I haven't actually made the video yet as of this recording, but hopefully I get it made before I upload this video. So check in the comments and I'll hopefully say that it's ready and that it'll be out soon. But uh, until then, thanks again for watching and I hope that you go play some Kingdom Hearts 2 or 4 if you're watching in the future. <laughs>